Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Here you see I have this glittery black smoky eye look. If you want to know how I achieved that look, check out my last video. Today I want to show you guys some of my favorite products. Now some of these products you would have seen in my past videos. Some are going to be brand new that I only usually use on set or that I haven't used yet for specific look reason. So yeah, let's get started. <music> So the first product I'm going to talk about is in the skincare category. It's the Vitamin Enriched Skin Base by Bobbi Brown. Um, I really love this one. It feels really nice, really soft on the skin. It almost feels like a moisturizer. It has a lot of vitamins and nutrients in there as well as it primes your face for foundation. Makes it stay on a very long time. Um, not much dry time to it so you can just throw it on and then throw your foundation on top. Really, really beautiful product. I absolutely love it. Good for any skin tones, I, I feel like. I use it all the time on people with multiple kinds of skin, but whatever. And of course, um, I love my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. I've used this a few times. It's a really great setting spray, hydrating spray. You can use it on a brush to get more pigment out of a product. It's just really, really beautiful product. I use it all the time, spray it everywhere. And it smells really, really nice too. You guys like my shirt, P.S.? Buffy the Vampire Slayer! Halfway, halfway, halfway. Anyway, P.S., the reason why I always wear a beanie is because I got a really oh. up haircut. And so I just like to hide it with the beanie. But uh, rest assured, I do have some hair under here. And she will make her debut soon. Ah. Okay, so I really like, I like my Morphe color correcting wheel in 6C. It's really great because it has orange for dark circle. It has green to hide redness. It has purple to hide dullness. It's just a really, really great wheel. <coughs> so my favorite foundation of all time is gonna be Makeup Forever. I, I use it all the time. I use it on my clients. I use it on myself. I love the liquid and I love the stick. So the stick is gonna be for someone with dry to normal skin. It is a very hydrating foundation, but it's also full coverage. So it's really nice if someone has dry skin, but wants full coverage with a little bit of moisture in it without it making them look dry and flaky because that's just all bad. It is a matte foundation too. So it's really, really pretty if somebody with dry skin or normal skin wants to be matte, wants to have coverage and just wants an all around nice feeling foundation. The liquid is amazing because it is good for oily skin and it dries matte as well. This one is a medium to full coverage. So if you do one layer of the foundation, it's gonna be medium. If you add a little bit more, it's gonna be full coverage. But it's really, really beautiful. Both of these are good for HD camera. Like I talked about in my first video, I am on set. I do work on a couple of TV shows. And so I really need something that's gonna work under hot lights, something that's gonna work with HD camera, something that's gonna work with my client and that they're gonna love and feel like they're getting something luxurious as well. Because sometimes if I do a celebrity, I might have a foundation that's maybe lower end but works great, but they see it and don't like it. So this is these are really good ones to keep in your kit. They're not too, too pricey. I think they're about $42 but I'm gonna leave all the links to the products in the description section below if you guys wanna check it out. All right, the next product I'm gonna talk about is concealer. So I have a bunch of favorite concealers. I love concealer. I love using concealer sometimes as even foundation. One of the ones I do that with is going to be, it's a little dirty, sorry, it's a little bit loved. It's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one is a beautiful concealer. It's full coverage. It lasts a long <gasps> time. It's just a great, great finish. It doesn't crease, especially if you set it. But I also like the color range. That's a really big thing for me. I do work on a lot of deeper skin tones. I have a hard time finding brands that make amazing concealers for deeper skin tones. Great, great concealer. So I do a lot of men's grooming. So a great concealer for men, or if you want something just very light feeling, but covers very well, I like the MAC Select Sheer. 
It just has a beautiful finish. It's lightweight, but it does cover. It's really, really great. I believe they use this one even on that movie. On that movie. This is on Maleficent. Tony G used it on Angelina Jolie as Maleficent for her highlighting and her sculpting on her face. It's a really, really great concealer. And of course, you guys have seen me use, um, I used Shape Tape, that's the one I'm wearing now. I'm not gonna lie, I just got this concealer, so I only have the one color, but I am extremely in love with it. Fell in love with it after I tried it the first time. It's full, full coverage, but very, very lightweight. It, like, it can literally cover anything on your face, but it doesn't look extremely cakey, right? Like, it, it did very, very well underneath my eyes. So I just absolutely love this concealer. Again, I, I just bought the one shade because I barely bought it maybe two weeks ago. So I don't have a lot of experience playing with it except for on myself, but it's incredible. If I use it on set, I'll let you guys know. So for powders, I created my own palette with the Makeup Forever refill pans. I bought the Pro Finish Press Powder. And so I have a pretty good color range in here. These are what I use on set. And these little guys underneath are actually from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. Powders, they blend like butter. I love them so much. And I got these, so super. So to kind of prevent any shininess, any oiliness on the skin, especially for camera, when I have somebody that's gonna be really close to the camera or doing interviews, I like to use the Black Opal Invisible Blotting Powder. It's an oil blocking powder. It's really, really nice. They just changed the packaging on these, so if you guys have used this before, it used to come in a round black package. They just changed it to this guy because this is a color-free powder. So there's a difference between color-free and translucent. Translucent powders do have a little bit of color to them, so you guys have to really pay attention to that. Translucent powders do have slight color. That's why even brands like Laura Mercier, they have a translucent powder in regular translucent, but then they have a translucent powder in deep. So you see there's a little bit of pigment in that translucent powder. No color powders mean that there's absolutely no color pigment in the powder. So you can use this on the deepest of deep skin or the lightest of lightest skin. It's gonna work just fine for anybody. That's why I love this powder too, because it doesn't matter how light or how deep your skin is, if you have any shine or oil, this is gonna take it away, but it's not gonna leave an ugly white cast to it. It used to be hypoallergenic, at least that's what the old one used to say, so I guess it's not now. So that's an update for you makeup artists too. If you guys go get this new packaging of the Black Opal um, Invisible Oil Blocking Powder, it is not hypoallergenic anymore. At least it does not say it on the package like it used to. So just fair warning to you. If you have somebody that's very sensitive, maybe just double check the ingredients on this guy. So I'm gonna kind of jump around just because I like to do that and whatever, I do what I want. So for, Eyeshadow bases, you can kind of use whatever you want, not really. So if you use a concealer, you have to make sure that you really set it with a powder on top of it, but I do that pretty much with anything. I love the MAC Paint Pots, those are my jam. They, um, this one is in Soft Ochre, which is what I'm wearing underneath this now, but this one is more of a yellow undertone. So it just kind of evens out the skin tone. It is fully, fully pigmented, so you will see color in this. I generally stay away from translucent eye primers because it doesn't even out the skin tone and a lot of people have discoloration on their eyelids. I mean, every single person has an, a difference of color on their eyelids, whether it's a vein, whether it's a little bit of redness, whether it's deepness, it, it, it's gonna look different. So using something with color, especially if it's really close to the skin tone of that client, really evens out the skin tone, makes it look really pretty and perfect, but it also sets it for the eyeshadow. You figure if you have an, a lid that has a red tone on top of it and you don't cancel out that red or cover it, whatever eyeshadow you put on top of it is gonna have a tinge, a tint, a tone of that little bit of redness underneath. It's gonna completely change the eyeshadow color basically is what I'm saying. If you use an invisible or translucent eye primer, you wanna use something with color to even out the tone. Now, if they want something that's extremely natural, super, super, you know, simple, no makeup makeup, then maybe not the paint pots because they're gonna fully cover the eye. Maybe just use a little bit of their concealer or, or a translucent primer. So another thing I like to use on the skin, especially for men or especially if someone's gonna be in front of the camera very close or a lot of hot lights, it's the Kiehl's Micro Blur Skin Perfector. This is incredible. I got this for free with purchase or something like that. 
but it literally blurs the skin and it mattifies it so well without it feeling sticky or tacky. I know some mattifying primers feel a little bit sticky. Welcome, grasshopper. This does not do that. It just makes the skin look smooth, it makes it look soft, it takes away any shine. It's really, really good. The only thing that's weird about this one, and I'll tell you right now, is that when I, sh even if I shake it and I squeeze it out, it has a little bit of water to it. Like, like a glob of, like a glob of the product comes out with a little bit of water. So I just have to kind of mix it on my metal palette with like the brush that I'm gonna use or with my fingers. And then it's just fine. But that's the only thing weird about it, but it's really, really good. The front says, it's a lightweight. It's a lightweight skin smoother to instantly refine skin texture and minimize the appearance of pores while improving skin's quality over time. And I definitely believe that 110%. This is beautiful. Usually, if I use this on a client who's going to be in front of camera, I don't have to touch them up um, for at least two hours, and their skin looks matte and beautiful the entire time. So definitely. Put this in your kit if you're a makeup artist, this is amazing. So for blush, I keep a variety of blush in my kit. My favorite, all time favorite blush is Warm Soul by MAC. Now the thing that kind of pisses me off about that blush is that I feel like, and I almost know for a fact because I've discussed this with many makeup artists, including makeup artists from MAC, but they changed the formula. I have the old packaging and formula from the MAC Warm Soul Blush in my kit, which I don't even wanna show you because it looks like it came out of an elephant's But it's my favorite blush and I, and I can't part with it and I'm so sad and I'm afraid to use it because it is so beautiful. But that's my favorite blush. Otherwise, I don't even know if this is still in existence anymore, if this was a limited edition, but I bought the Steven Klein NARS palette from Sephora. This was a Sephora exclusive, I believe. But just the colors in general, are really, really, really pretty. And then you have like a bronzer, you have a highlighter, you have blush. I love this copper color right here. It's really pretty mixed with this deeper pink one. It's, it's gorgeous. So this is a beautiful palette. I love to keep it. It's pretty small too, like put it next to my head. So it fits really, really nice in the kit. It's hard case, so it's not gonna crack or pop, pop, pop like your face. <laughs> Next on the list, I have a lot of favorite lip products. My go-to brand as of right now is gonna be the Stila, especially in this color. This color is called Patina. This color is beautiful on a ton of skin tones, but this doesn't feel dry. It feels really creamy on the lips. It is hydrating. Yeah, I do feel like I have to touch it up here and there, but literally it's after a few hours and that's if I'm doing someone who's talking a lot in the camera. This really, really stays on, but this color, I don't even know if it, if it does justice putting it in front of the camera. This color is stunning. It looks a little bit brighter. It looks a little bit brighter on camera than it does in person, but it's like a nudish pink. Really, really pretty. Favorite color from Stila. I love, love, love their liquid lipstick formulas. It's, they're, they're gorgeous. So for brows, this is gonna be a two-parter because this brand I'm gonna use for both products, but for brows, I love the Ardell Brow Pomade. It's what I have in my brows right now. This one is soft black. I love it because they're super, super, super firm in texture. So if you kind of slip or move, it's not gonna get everywhere. It's gonna stay in place. It is a wax-based formula. So it's waterproof, incredible on the eyebrows. It does get a little bit dry fast, but all you have to do is kind of mix it with a metal spatula or like a toothpick or something and it reactivates the formula. It's really, really weird how it does that, but it really does. And so I love this brow product. It's not as pigmented as other brands are as far as pomades go, which makes it easy and it makes it kind of forgiving when you're getting used to using a pomade. So I definitely recommend this product. It's beautiful, I love it, it's great. The reason why I said I'm gonna do a double brand with that one is the lashes. I love my Ardell lashes, of course. They do an amazing, amazing job with their lashes. Um, I do use their lashes all the time, on set, on myself, they're, they're incredible. So they're just really beautiful lashes. I have them on right now. I have the Double Wispies as well as the Faux Mink 810s. I love their Faux Mink lashes because they feel and mimic the feeling of mink hair. So they're very, very soft and lightweight, but they're cruelty free. 
Um, and that's why I like them too, which also means instead of paying $40 for a pair of mink lashes, I can pay $5.99 and get the Ardell ones. And they're gonna look just as incredible. And they also have an invisible band so that you don't see that chunky black line of lash. So if I wanna wear faux minks with like a nude eye with no eyeliner, I definitely can and you're not gonna see the band. So it's great. That's why I love it. And so as far as lip liners go, this is kind of dirty, so I feel a little bit embarrassed showing you guys, but I keep my lip liners in a little rollout case. It's, um, I got it from Michael's Arts and Crafts. I think it's for like paint brushes, but I keep my, my lip brushes in here and I, or my lip, I keep my lip liners in here and I have a bunch. My favorite ones are the MAC Pro Longwear lip liners. I love the way that they wear, they're stunning. They last all day, they're really, really smooth. The only thing I hate about them is the cap comes off sometimes and it dries out my and I get really pissed that I have to go buy another one, but otherwise they're cool. I have a Ben Nye one in here too, it's really cute. NYX makes some really good ones. Really funky colors, like NYX has like this grayish tone, like blue. And that's, and that's a lip liner, that's not an eyeliner. So I like the NYX stuff, is they have a lot of unique colors. NYX makes some really great lip pencils that are awesome. Sorme has some nice pencils. They're very smooth, blendable, they go on like butter. They have a square shape to them. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but they have a square shape to them, which makes them really kind of cool, I like that. And then I just roll it up, has an elastic band, and I'm good to go. I have the same thing for my eyeliners. So my eyeliners, I love MAC eyeliners. I love the Makeup Forever Aqua XL. I love my waterproof eyeliners. I have a lot of LA Girl eyeliners too. The gel eyeliners are really, really nice. They blend in very well. They last all night and they're really cheap. They're like, I don't know, $3, $2 for a eyeliner from LA Girl. And they make this pretty, pretty, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little champagne-y color here. It's good for in the water line so that you can kind of look bright, but it's not straight white so it doesn't look too fake. And last but not least, I know I skipped a couple of items from the face, but we'll do another video on those specific things. I just kind of wanted to do some kind of must have, some of my favorites, some things I feel like you guys should have in your kit, and some things that I just started recently using maybe in the past couple months that I thought were incredible and I just kind of had to share because I love them so much. But last but not least, my holy grail in my kit, in my makeup kit, I take it every single job that I do, even if it's just beauty makeup, is the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. This thing has saved my life on multiple sets multiple times the colors are a little bit crazy but they're meant to be mixed and matched to create your own color for whatever that you need for example you can literally make somebody's foundation color with all of these colors I've seen it done it's incredible it's crazy how like color theory works but it kind of makes you think too if you go back to color theory in school that's gonna help you a lot with this guy so that you know where to apply and how. But so for example, if I'm on set and somebody asks for a blue lipstick, I can just use this guy and it goes on really well. And I've used this for face paint before. I've done like camouflage army face with this. I've done clown. I've done um, ice look on myself, which you can see on my Instagram. I've used this a lot for a lot of things and it's really, really great. You can mix it for lipsticks. You can mix it for, as an eyeshadow base. You can mix it for face paint. You can use it on the body. It's really, really great palette to have in your kit just in case because you never know when you might need some random ass fucking color or worst case scenario, you forget your entire bag or case of foundation at home and you're on set. Mix and match ho. Use this shit for their foundation and it will come through for you. Leave me comments of what else you want to see, of what other products you want me to review, and your personal experience with these products too. I want to hear what you guys think about them and if you used them before too. All right guys, so that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and click subscribe down below.